So good morning everyone. Today we will study vector analysis and the topic here is Green, Gauss and Stokes theorem. About the topic, it is nothing but integration in vector calculus and this topic comes in the, your examination every year and I would say this is the best topic to score marks. It is very scoring, very easy and if you have the right concept you can do it very easily. Nothing a bigger challenge in this mat topic. Okay, so moving ahead. Just we understand what is line integral. Okay, so I'll uh, not go with the all the proofs and all. I'll just go with the uh, how to solve the question and whichever is uh, relevant for the examination only. I will talk about that only. Okay, so so it is line integral. The line integral is done over a curve, okay, over a curve that is f dot dr is equal to okay, here this f is a vector, f is a vector field which is f is a vector field that is f1 i cap plus f2 j cap plus f3 k cap and we can say that r is r is i taught you in the earlier class also this is y j cap and z k cap so dr would be dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap okay and if i take the dot product here that is f dot dr we get f1 dx plus f2 dx plus f3 dz it is done over a curve which could be parabola or a line or a circle okay so it is done over a curve that is a line integral in the vector uh, calculus uh, all the integrations are done over the curve Whoa. over a curve a line integral is done over a curve double integration is done over a surface and a volume integral done over a whole volume okay so I'll teach you how to solve these questions and I must say you in the examination this is uh, the most easy topic of uh, paper 1 after linear algebra. Uh, topics of linear algebra is also easy but uh, this is so after that this is one of the most easiest chapter and every year every year one question from Green, one question from Gauss or Stokes but out of these two is minimum. There could be three questions from one from Green, Gauss and Strokes but uh, two is minimum. Okay, so moving ahead. Now we have uh, this uh, double integration which says that double integration f dot n ds. Here this n is a unit normal vector of to the surface. Suppose this is the surface. Okay. This is a surface over which I have to integrate this uh, vector field. The n denotes this normal vector to this surface. And this is a unit vector. Okay. This n is a unit vector. F dot n ds is, is double integration r f dot n dx dy n dot k. Okay. So I'll teach you what here s represent, what here r represent. And how do we reach this formula where a ds is written as dx dy upon modulus of n dot k. Here k is nothing but a, a unit vector along the z direction in the positive z direction. Okay. So what happens here? The thing is suppose suppose this is a coordinate system. This is x. This is y. Okay. So, what does it say is that, suppose this is the surface S, okay, this is the surface S, okay. So, here this R, this R denotes the projection of that surface on the XY coordinate plane. Here, if you have to change this into dx dy, or a sim similar 
simpler form then this r this s is the original surface and this r this r is the projection of that surface on the x y coordinate okay that is if this is the this is the surface s okay and if i take the projection of the surface on this x y plane so it would be like this only and this is r this is r this is how we integrate uh, the double integral this is how we integrate double integral in the vector form where we write ds is equal to we can write that ds you can see this that ds is equal to ds is equal to dx dy n dot k in case you have to take the projection along the yz plane then the formula would be ds is equal to dy dz or n dot i this is easy to understand you can understand it by symmetry also in the xy plane we use dx dy n dot k and in the yz plane we use dy dz n dot i and in the and in, if you have to take along the xz plane this is for xy plane this is for yz plane and this is for n dot j dx dz n dot j okay now one thing is uh, okay so i think this is clear that in if you have to take the projection we solve the integration no need to go in the proof of this in the books no need for that don't waste your time see the syllabus in the upsc math option is huge it covers whole graduations mathematics and even some of the topics are from applied version sense or from the physics side that is the fluid dynamics mechanics static and dynamics which we don't read as a as a honors student from mathematics i know we didn't read any of those subjects in our college that is mechanics or statics or dynamics or fluid dynamics okay so we have more focus on the pure part that is the pure algebra modern algebra type subject modern algebra or complex analysis real analysis okay so you don't have to worry about the proof here okay you just need to learn how to solve the questions okay i always say in the exam in my class that our main aim is to get maximum marks in that examination and not to get not to be a master in mathematics or phd in mathematics or to understand the whole concept that would be a lengthy process and it will take years for you okay our main aim is to crack this examination and score maximum marks in maths optional okay now one thing here must be noticed here this could uh, important note here i would rather tell you the these are not written in some many of the books that is this projection could only be done on the xy plane if and only if if i if i draw a perpendicular line from xy plane so what do you think that if this is a surface see see if this is a surface s okay and this is z and this is y and this is x projection could only be taken if if a perpendicular line passing from this perpendicular line passing from this suppose this is the surface okay and this is the xy plane the projection could only be taken if a line perpendicular lines drawn from xy plane cuts this plane in one point only cuts this plane in the one point only see if this if this hand is a surface suppose this is any surface over which i have to do the integration and uh, the projection here is xy plane it is only possible if if perpendicular line drawn from this cuts in a single point see it is cutting every perpendicular we will cut this in the single point okay but if i do this and i have to take the projection now now if the perpendicular line goes there it will cut point this this and this 
okay it will suppose this if this is the surface and i have to take in the xy plane so it would cut more than one point so in that case you can't take this as uh, this method to solve the question it is very uh, important thing to note here and this would also allow you to understand in which question you have to take projection in the xy plane in the yz plane or in the xz plane normally our questions are solved in the xy plane only but uh, one should be prepared for challenges in the examination okay so you must see that this case is only possible this projection is only possible if the perpendicular drawn from here if the perpendicular drawn from here cuts it in the one place see in this case it is not cutting it at one point since it is a 2d object suppose this is the plane i would do this i, I think you are getting it this passes through this this line passes to this point okay so if this is perpendicular and if this passes to one point only then only it is possible since since in that case only you can write z as a function of x and y or i would say a explicit function of x and y see you don't have to go in that details okay but uh, this is the case so in any case you have to understand that the points cut in the and you have to see that uh, uh, the projection taken is a uh, projection can be taken or not suppose i give you example here okay i give you example here suppose suppose the curve with the s is given as x square plus y square equal to 16 and z from 0 to 5 okay so clearly what is this in the first quadrant i would say first octant not quadrant octant okay so what does this uh, equation represent what does this equation represent there is nothing but a cylinder okay this is nothing but a cylinder x square plus y square is equal to 16 from z equal to 0 to 5 is nothing but a cylinder okay suppose this is z this is x this is y okay and if i say in the first octant it would be around like this i draw it for you my drawing is not so good but i'll try suppose this is y this is x this is z okay so if i take this okay this is only this is the first octant suppose if i have not taken the first octant then it would have been it would have been a cylinder it would have been cylinder okay z for you but if i have taken in the first octant so it would be in the this portion only okay i'm i'm getting that you will understand this okay so in this case my main point is that not about the water cylinder would look my main point is that now if you take the projection along x y plane so you won't be able to do so you won't be able to do so see this plane this cylinder the cylinder wouldn't uh, give this curved portion wouldn't be uh, suppose if i have to take the projection along x y z x y z okay this cylinder only if i have to take this uh, projection along x y plane it is not possible it is not possible since uh, the curved portion the portion which is curved wouldn't be able to project here and also as i told you in my earlier condition that a non perpendicular from that axis must cut that surface only at one point in this case if you draw perpendicular it will cut here also and it will cut here also if you draw from here it will cut here also it will cut here also 
if you draw a perpendicular line from x y plane it will cut at this point this point so in any case you can't write in this case ds is equal to dx dy n dot k you won't be able to solve that in, in uh, what i think uh, um, in this case uh, the denominator would be coming zero what i could predict the denominator will come zero and you will be stuck in your examination so if this happens in this case you should uh, break it into you can take this into xz plane okay dx dy n dot j okay this xz plane the projection would be easily taken on the xz plane okay so and uh, the condition also that uh, perpendicular lines drawn from that plane would only cut this cylinder in the one point since it is given in the first octant only if it is given the whole circle then the projection would also be not possible since it will cut in the two point but in this case it will cut so it will be given in the question whether it is in first octant or or whole of the coordinate planes okay so i think this is very clear to you see see not uh, not many not many of those uh, books have clearly mentioned this thing but i'll tell you you should make sure that the perpendicular from the if you have to take the projection of a surface s okay so the perpendicular drawn from the xy plane of any coordinate plane where you have to take the projection it should cut that surface only in the one point then only it can be written as an implicit function of that two point okay so this is a case here okay so moving ahead moving ahead the volume integral is uh, not that uh, much a bigger case we will solve in the question the problem which i see student face or student face, even i in my preparation phase which i faced was in the surface integral okay but surface integral if you know to if you know that in which coordinate plane you will take the projection you will easily do the answer so solve the question see in the examination see you can check in every in which phase you your question answer would come you will be able to solve but you don't have that much time in the examination to do so so you should learn this okay if you grab this simple concept that a perpendicular line drawn would cut only in the one plane one point then it is easy okay so moving ahead moving ahead now we reach to the questions part okay so it is written that find the work done okay i one thing more which you should learn here in the line integral the work done the work done is given by work done of a force is given by f dot dr integration this you have learnt in your class 12th also in the during your physics classes that work done is f dot dr okay so so the question is so the question is that uh, find the work done when a force f x square minus y square plus x i cap minus 2xy plus yj cap moves a particle in xy plane from 0 0 to 1 1 along a parabola y square equal to x see in the line integral you will always be given as the you will always be given the path chosen from 0 0 to 1 1 there could be infinite paths to go there okay but uh, the path in the line integral would be given and if it is not given if it is not given then you must check that whether the force is conservative of or not okay which could be easily checked using the using curl if you find the curl of f is equal to zero then the force is conservative or you can also see that the differential equation form is exact or not okay that i'll teach you in the ordinary differential equation part that if it is exact then the part would wouldn't matter if that is exact so there are many ways to do so but uh, normally you will be given the curve if it is not given then you must check that and it will be the force would be conservative in nature 
then you can choose any path to go there okay any path to get it's, it's on you okay but now in this case it is given that y square equal to x so we have to find the work done okay so what would be the work done work done would be f dot dr okay f dot dr this would be i told you f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz okay in this case what we see is what is the question here ha huh. we see that x square minus y square plus x okay that is x square minus y square plus x okay and minus 2xy plus y okay this is dx and then then minus 2xy plus y dy and the integration is the curve c where c is a parabola y square equal to what is a y square equal to x okay and the point is from 0 0 to 0 0 to 1 1 okay so there are many ways to solve this problem you can clearly solve it using like line integral you can put x equal to y square and dx equal to 2y dy and integrate dx equal to 2y dy and the integrating limit of y is from 0 to 1 so you can solve in that way you could get the answer also or you can use the parametric form that is uh, what i prefer what i prefer is uh, converting it into a parametric form and that would be easy thing to do so if it, i convert it into parametric form any point on this curve will be of the form t square comma t now if i put x equal is equal to t square and y equal to t you, you will get the solution okay so if i put x is equal to t square and y equal to t then we have the parametric form okay so what do we do here we can write it as x square minus y square plus x dx by dt minus 2xy plus y to dy by dt into dt okay now x is equal to x is equal to t square then dx by dt is equal to 2t and y equal to t so dy by dt this will be equal to 1 okay so putting this value uh, this would be t to the power 4 this would be minus t square plus t square now dx by dt we have into 2t minus 2xy 2xy i'm 2t cube plus t and for dy dt it is 1 dt and what would be the integrating limit right easy to see that that for x equal to if x equal to 0 then t will be equal to 0 and if x equal to 1 then t will be equal to 1 you can double verify it with the y coordinate also that is if y equal to 0 y equal to 0 x t would be 0 and for z y equal to 1 t would be equal to 1 so the integrating limit would be from 0 to 1 from 0 to 1 so what do we get here this t square t square term cancel now it is a simple arithmetic which could be easily solved okay so this would be 0 to 1 and this t square t square cancels out 2, to, 2 into t to the power 5 
2 into t to the power 5 and from here we get 2t cube plus t with a minus sign 2t cube minus t and this is dt now this is a simple integration which you can easily solve okay i won't be solving this this is simple integration. so in the case of you can convert it into this 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 question comes every year in for 10 marker in upsc prelims examination I mean sorry upsc optional examination okay so i would always change into parametric form okay moving ahead Moving ahead, we have a, another question. Find the circulation of F around the curve where Y is equal to this and C is the circle now. C is a circle. X square plus Y square equal to 1 and Z equal to 0. Uh, for Z equal to 0, it is XY plane. It is similar. For Z equal to 0, it is uh, similar to studying it into 2D. What? 2D. And for x square x plus y square equal to 1, we all know that for x square plus y square 1, we all know that it is a equation of circle. So, what do we do here? Simple, we have to find the circulation. Circulation is, okay. circulation is nothing but that line integral only. Okay. So, we have to find f dot dr. Okay. Now, this is, this is this would be y dx plus z dy plus this is I would say x x t z okay so I always say that uh, uh, move in a and it is a circulation so always go for the parametric form always go for the parametric form so it is given x square is equal to plus y square equal to 1. Okay? So, in, a, in the case of a circle, it could be taken as x equal to cos theta and y equal to sin theta and for since z is equal to 0, so dz will be also equal to 0. Okay? So, what do we get here? We have First of all, if dz is 0 and z is 0, we have only y dx. Okay, now this could be written as y dx by dt in dx by d theta, sorry, into d theta. Okay, so uh, what would be the limit here? And that's not the case here. If uh, theta is a, what would be the limit? That's what I want to know. What would be the limit? See, this is the circulation. Circulation means covering the whole circle. So if if I've taken theta as the parameter for covering the whole circle, we must be moving from theta equal to zero to two pi. Then you would be able to complete that whole circle if it, it is given in the first quadrant then you have to take from theta is equal to 0 to pi by 2 if in this is the second quadrant you can take theta is equal to 0 to pi if it is talking about semicircle you would have taken theta equal to 0 to pi but in this case you have to take theta equal to 0 to 2 pi okay so we have theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi and for y we have sin theta and for dx by d theta we have see if you differentiate dx by d theta it will be minus sin theta minus sin of angle theta and this will be d theta okay this is theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi and this is minus of sin square theta now it could be easily solved okay it could be easily solved you can do it like this that is 1 minus cos of angle 2 theta upon 2 or or minus 1 by 2 common theta is equal to 0 to 2 pi 1 minus cos of angle 
cos of angle 2 theta d theta this is minus 1 by 2 theta minus what would be the integration of cos 2 theta it would be sin 2 theta sin 2 theta upon 2 and this is 0 to 2 pi now this term automatically it is 0 equal to 0 and this is 2 pi this is minus 1 by 2 into 2 pi and we get the answer minus pi okay so a case of simple integration here so this is how do you do line integral always uh, try to make those question in the parametric form it could be anything if it is given parabola you can take anything anything just you have to do one thing see in this if you know if if it is given a uh, uh, regular curves which are famous like a circle parabola then you know what to take the parametric form or the ellipsoid see if it is given i will for standard curves that is x square plus a square plus y square upon b square equal to 1 in this case you could take as x equal to a cos of angle theta and y equal to b sine of angle theta in the case of hyperbola okay uh, what you can take you can take x equal to a sec of angle theta and y equal to b tan of angle theta okay so you can do it easily and in the when i teach you volume integral i will show how to change that into a spherical coordinate and cylindrical coordinate so that some of the integration you would solve without using pen you can do it orally see these questions by practice you can do it orally you don't need a pen or paper to solve this you have to solve in the examination but this thing is so easy you can do it orally also and when you learn to change in the cylindrical coordinate system or in the spherical coordinate system and in the in some question in the fluid dynamics which i'll teach you later there we have we have learned to we have to learn to change into conical form conical system coordinate system then uh, it would be or one could take curvilinear coordinate system generalized coordinate system then the question which you solve would be would be very easy to solve this substitution help us to solve this integration very easy okay mm -hmm.